welcome back guys it's your boy shine teeth and we are here with another video here we'll be talking about bob marley beach i wanted to do this video for the longest while and on that note i do apologize to my subscribers to my supporters to my fellow viewers for the lack of content one of my main camera went down and I had to pull together some resources to get it back up and running but we are now here. As you are seeing in the video, Bob Marley Beach is very beautiful. It is also very popular. A lot of tourists visit Bob Marley Beach just to hang out, to chill, to relax, to enjoy the scenery and to just be a part of the culture that is associated with Bob Marley Beach. However, Bob Marley Beach has been in the media in recent time due to some alleged hostile takeover from a hotel developer. This article that I'm about to read is from the Radio Jamaica news website and the headline states advocacy group pursuing legal action against Bob Marley Beach developers. Attorney at law Dr. Marcus Goff says advocacy group Jamaica Beach Birthright Environmental Movement will be pressing ahead with its legal action against private developer the Wharf Group which is constructing a US 200 million dollar luxury hotel on lands adjoining Bob Marley Beach in St. Thomas. This is despite a director of the company Donovan Reed declaring that there is no forced relocation of informal settlers or threat to beach asset. Mr. Reed told the Gleaner that the claims are baseless and without merit. However, Dr. Goff is contending that the Wolf Group has not used the proper legal channel to engage two families who have been living on the land for 50 years this is just a short part of the article guys the full length of the article is on radio jamaica news website as you will see in this video there is a massive road work that is taking place and it starts from harborview and it will end at portland jamaica but majority of the work or the road work is done in St. Thomas. And due to that fact, it is no surprise that there are going to be a lot of development. This new road infrastructure that is being done in St. Thomas will pull a lot of development, mainly hotels and or real estate developers and with that said it is understandable that this hotel developer has seen an opportunity with Bob Marley however I'm not fully aware of what really transpired because I believe that there is a middle ground where both the hotel developers and residents of Bob Marley Beach and the Beach Road community can benefit. Due to the culture that Bob Marley Beach have, it would be beneficial for that hotel because tourists are coming to Jamaica to have an authentic interaction with our culture and Beach Road and Bob Marley Beach offers that. However, I'm not in any agreement with any hostile takeover of the Bob Marley Beach or alleged hostile takeover. I do believe that there is a middle ground. I believe that the residents have a lot to offer to this hotel development and I believe that this hotel have a lot to offer to the resident. One of which is contract being given to the fishing folks of that community and that would help their livelihood and would help ease some of the burden that members of that community are faced with and in return visitors of that hotel both local visitors and international visitors will experience a culture with the people of Bob Marley Beach and also the beautiful scenery 
that it has to offer. These are just my few opinions. I would like to know your thoughts and your opinion. Let me know down in the comment section. Should Bob Marley Beach merge and come to an amicable agreement with this newly developed hotel? Or should this hotel call it a loss and seek a new venture? It has come to the end guys and I thank you for watching, I thank you for subscribing, I thank you for liking the video, for commenting, I thank you and I do appreciate it. I am still going to encourage you to share the video, like and subscribe, tell your friend to tell their friend and let the world know about the channel. Until next time, peace.